After over a year of working on the kitchen renovation, it is finally finished and we have a functioning kitchen. I thought I would start out with sharing some of the befores with you guys. They're all going to be vertical because I wasn't sure that I was going to start a YouTube channel yet. So we have no actual footage on our camera or anything of the before. The entire house was in this kind of condition. If you don't know some of the backstory, if this is your first time watching a video of mine, the house sat empty for five years before we bought it and animals had gotten in here and people had broken into it and vandalized it and used it as a party house. So a lot of damage had been done by animals and by people. We ended up having to gut the entire kitchen. We originally wanted to keep the cabinetry in here, but after further looking into it and stuff, we found that they were covered in animal feces and urine and they were not salvageable. The kitchen had a few layers of ceiling. There was a tile ceiling and then lath and plaster. I can't remember if it had sheetrock also, but either way, we had to rip all of it out because you can see that hole in the ceiling. That's where animals were going up to the second story. So it all was covered in animal feces and urine. So it all just had to go. We did end up changing the corner that the pantry was in. So as you can see, it was originally in this corner, but we actually flipped it to the opposite corner to make the kitchen layout work. And you'll see that through that back door, there's actually a mudroom, but we had to tear it down. We do plan on rebuilding it, but for now, this is how it looks and how it came out after we finished renovating. As soon as you walk into the kitchen from the dining room, you see this hutch and then right past that, the door, the solid door with no glass, that is the pantry. So you can see where the refrigerator is now. That used to be the pantry and we flipped it to this corner where the solid door is now. This kitchen island we picked up from an antique store and I love it so much. I love the enamel top. I'm a really big fan of enamel. It is so durable. The chairs probably won't be there forever just until we get our dining room finished so that we have somewhere to eat for now. If you notice to the right of the doorway there, you can see some chip paint and we just completely forgot to redo that. So we're gonna finish redoing that whenever we do the dining room. Another reason that we decided against keeping the cabinet is because we found that they weren't original. There was nothing original in this kitchen besides the pantry and we ended up having to move it corners, but we wanted something that matched the era of the home a little bit better. So that is why we ultimately decided to go with an unfitted kitchen. We absolutely love where the pantry sits now. It just seems to help with the layout a little bit better that all the appliances are all on one side of the kitchen and then the pantry is over here. And I do have a full pantry tour up on my channel already. So I'll link that down below, but nothing really much has changed in here. We've added a few baskets on the floor for our bulk food. And then we added the broom and dustpan here on the door. One of the other things that we changed in the pantry is we took all the spices off of the shelf in here in the pantry and we moved them to this hutch that sits to the right of the pantry. I just like seeing them in there better and they seem to be a little bit easier to look at and reach that way. We also added these baskets that hang onto the shelf that help give a little bit more storage for, we just put our Ziploc bags and plastic wrap, things like that in it. This antique hutch, we don't really know much about. We ended up getting it from a flea market like several years ago for my birthday. We paid $80 for it and it was in kind of rough shape. We ended up rebracing it so it could actually hold a lot of weight. And the bottom doors are busted out and we are going to replace those with glass. That way it just looks timeless and clean like the top does. But if you guys want to see a more in-depth video of where we decided to store everything and the organization of the kitchen, then let me know in the comments down below. I didn't include that in this video just because I knew it would be super long if I did. We added this rug underneath the kitchen island because the chairs where they have wheels on the front, we noticed that it was starting to mark up the floor. So we put this down just to protect the floor, but it ended up matching perfectly with the yellow in here and helping to tie in some more color. And it just adds the perfect little pop of color in the middle of the kitchen. All of the lighting in the kitchen, we ended up getting off of eBay and I absolutely love it. It's so different. The top trim pieces over all the doorways and windows in the kitchen are original. We're still keeping an eye out for the perfect vintage fridge. If you saw my update, then you know what happened to the last fridge, but we hope to find the perfect vintage one to go with this kitchen soon. But for now, we're just using this one. The stove is a 1956 Frigidaire and after re-insulating it and getting it rewired, we have no complaints about it. It works absolutely perfectly. 
When we were doing demo and removing all the plaster, we found this beautiful brick behind the stove and I knew that I wanted it to be the focal point of the room. Even though some people don't like the studs and stuff, we absolutely love it. We still haven't found exactly how we want to incorporate those into the kitchen, like if we want to add shelving or what. And I love the original flu cover and I actually had it painted as if our house was already finished. So we love this brick. We think it is a great focal point for the kitchen. The sink, I've mentioned it a few times before, but it is so sentimental to me and Ben because it's actually his great grandparents sink. And it was kind of the whole reason that we moved the pantry because we wanted this sink in the kitchen. We knew that we had to incorporate it somehow. So we built this base and I'll link the legs that we use down below, but we love the simplicity of it, but yet it is so useful. This sink is a workhorse. To help add some height above this refrigerator to help balance things out in here, we added this piece of artwork and I know nothing about it, but I love the pop that it adds above the fridge. One of our main goals when we were renovating this kitchen was to make it not look brand new. And I think that's why we wanted the unfitted style kitchen and so that we could easily move things around and as we needed. But we wanted it to look like it could have been here originally and we didn't want it to look brand new or too new. Yeah, we have new pieces in here in the kitchen, but overall, a lot of the pieces, we incorporated a lot of old with new things so that it would help add the character and the charm that we wanted to put back in this kitchen. We weren't going for a modern farmhouse look by any means. We wanted the old original like vintage feel in here and this cabinet absolutely does that for us. I never imagined that I would have a yellow in my kitchen. Still, I am mind blown about that, but it just fits so perfectly. And what we know about this piece is we think it came from a hardware store, but we just know it came from a store somewhere in our town, which makes it all that much more special to us. One of the most common questions that I get asked is why did we not knock down the wall that the stove sits on? And we did not do that just simply because that's not how an early 1900s farmhouse was originally built. This one, all the original walls are still here and it was never intended to have an open floor plan. So we're trying to keep this house as original as possible and we absolutely love it and it works well for us because we actually hung this door to the right so that we could shut the door while we're working on the rest of the renovations in the house we renovated this kitchen on an extremely tight budget and part of that is why it took us so long to renovate just because we had to wait until we had the money so that we could buy the material to work on it but the thing that helped us the most was buying reclaimed material so the ceiling is the only thing new and we bought actually really bad lumber from the lumber yard a lot of it was bowed and stuff so they gave it to us for half price so we spent six hundred dollars on the ceiling and then between the floors and the walls, the majority of that is reclaimed, but the bottom vertical boards, some of that we did have to buy brand new and that was quite a bit of money. But for the most part, we used all reclaimed material in here as much as we could. Like the doors, all of those I stripped down myself and refinished. So it did save us a lot of money. I am working on getting together a post for you guys. I'm trying to remember every single thing that we spent money on. It won't be like decor and things like that, but just the main kitchen renovation. I'm working on getting a post together so that you guys can know how much we spent and a breakdown of cost. But that is going to be it for this kitchen reveal. So thank you guys for watching and I hope you guys will like and subscribe.